Adam, <laughs> half our audience is gonna think this is the coolest thing ever, and the other half is gonna have no idea what I'm talking about. How did you first learn about the Board Ape Yacht Club? Well, so when I got into NFTs, it was really the moment when I recognized the potential that they had for just a variety of markets. Um, it's very difficult traditionally with digital assets, whether that be pictures or photos or video or music. You know, when you copy a digital asset, it's indiscernible from the original, and that makes them very difficult to value. And with NFTs, all of that changes. Now you have infallible proof of ownership tracked on the blockchain when a digital asset is sold or distributed. And that has just a variety of implications, very exciting implications for many different markets. Uh, when it comes to Board Ape Yacht Club, like many other NFT projects these days, it's less about buying the asset itself. It's much more what it represents, membership into an exclusive community. Sure. And so Board Ape Yacht Club, just as an example, you know, counts Steph Curry and Jimmy Fallon and Snoop Dogg, among others, as members. And if you want access to that exclusive community for networking, or if you want access to the digital or physical benefits that come from it, then you need to be holding one of the NFTs. Yeah, I think about it kind of like the Soho Club or a lot of the popular London clubs, um, but digital. How much would it cost for me to buy in right now? So the least expensive board ape right now is about $250,000. Wow. Okay. So how am I supposed to believe this represents a wonderful vision of the future and not a frat or a social club that I wasn't cool or wealthy enough to join? Well, first of all, Board Ape Yacht Club is one of the most well-known, one of the most popular NFT projects, but there are thousands of them. You can get involved in NFTs for as little as $100 or less. And so there are plenty of other projects where you can jump in and get involved and you don't have to start out with Board Ape Yacht Club. Um, what I would say is that as we inevitably move towards a metaverse, you know, a digital world where people are going to play and learn and interact and conduct commerce, people are starting to care just as much about the way that they represent themselves digitally as the way that they do physically. And when we move towards a metaverse where you have potentially billions of people participating and there's only a few thousand bored apes that can be your avatar as you walk around that world, that is something that I'm personally betting on is gonna be a pretty impressive digital flex, so yeah. to speak. No, um, I totally think you're right. I, I absolutely do. Let's talk about Hungry Wolves. I mean, you had a project previously that you sold to Microsoft Gamification Platform. Tell me about Hungry Wolves. What is it? Is it something that I want to buy into right now, or is it not quite work like that? <laughs> so Hungry Wolves is a uh, generative NFT project that I'm very proud to have launched uh, just a couple of weeks ago. It's brand new, uh, definitely falls in that spectrum of a few hundred dollars to get in, not hundreds of thousands of dollars. What we're so excited about with it is that it is truly gamified. There are game mechanics that sit behind the project. And so you can acquire a wolf. You then use that wolf to join wolf packs, which are essentially guilds or clans with other holders that hold wolves with similar traits. You can hunt and eat virtual NFT sheep that earn you dominance, which then allow you to upgrade the visual traits of your wolf. You can battle and challenge other wolves that are within the <laughs> ecosystem. And so it goes far beyond just holding an asset. It's much more about your game piece in an ecosystem that can earn you rewards over time and interactions with other players. It sounds fun. When my kids are old enough, they can explain and show me all of this stuff. One quick final question, because we teased it, I want to answer the question. Why are a lot of celebrity NFT projects failing? Well, what it comes down to is it really is about community. And so there is a very, very vibrant community on Twitter, what a lot of folks will now call NFT Twitter, where you can go and engage with tens, hundreds of thousands of people that are meaningfully investing into NFTs for a variety of different reasons. And unless you are a credible part of that community, you can't just come in and launch a project and expect people to pick up on it. Um, people might learn a little bit about it, but you really do need to invest the time and the energy to become part of that community in order to earn the right to start telling people that they should buy something from you. It's so fascinating to hear about it over and over again. It'd be interesting to watch who gets it right and who doesn't. Adam, this was great. Thanks for your time today.